They call it the umbrella movement. And Hong Kong's umbrellas are on the move again, a symbol of peaceful defiance against unelected local leaders and the might of the Chinese state. They're still demanding what they call genuine elections. But the turnout is much smaller than organizers hope. Maybe um, student groups have been gathering their power in, in a different um, corner, maybe not on the street, but I'm sure um, if the time is correct and um, there's a right opportunity, I think we'll come back. But older protesters say it'll be a long fight. Democracy is nowhere in sight. Uh, we will wait for the downfall of the Chinese Communist Party, you know, before we will have genuine democracy for Hong Kong. Mm. This is the man authorized to give Beijing's version of events. He says hostile foreign forces are behind the protests. The Occupy movement was a spear aimed at central government. It's a version of the color revolution that's been stirred up elsewhere in the world. It's not about democracy, but a tug of war for control of Hong Kong. Since the umbrella movement began last September, Beijing has moved not one inch on their demands. And today's march is not likely to change that. But people here feel they need to stand up and be counted, if only to protect the liberties that they do have. Exercising the right to march, even if no one is listening. But if this is the worst Beijing has to fear from its citizens, it'll carry on shaping Hong Kong's political destiny according to its own design. Carrie Gracie, BBC News, Hong Kong.